Good morning, kindergarten. My name is Mrs. Shirani, and I am from the Syracuse Academy of Science and Citizenship. I am so excited to teach math to you guys today. We are on module one, lesson 11. We've been learning so much about hidden partners, about um, sorting, about finding sets of things, and we're gonna continue with that today. Okay, you ready? So as always, we'll have our five steps of math. We will do our fluency warm up. We'll do our application problem, which gets us ready for the lesson. We'll do our concept development, which is the main part of our lesson. And then we will talk about what we learned, and I'll show you your exit ticket for the morning. Sound good? Alrighty. So let me share my screen with you, and we'll get into today's super fun lesson. So today we're going to be working on modeling decompositions of three. That means that we're finding hidden partners of three. That's just a fancy way to say, let's find a hidden partner. So we're going to do that by showing one and two can be hidden partners of three, <clears throat> excuse me, and two and one. But let's start with our fluency warm up, which will get us ready for the lesson too. Okay, here we go. Let's touch and count the corners of this shape. What shape is this, Blurt? Triangle, yes. So let's touch and count them. One, two, three. Okay, so now I see these beans over here. These are kind of like maybe pinto beans or maybe lima beans. They maybe they look more like pinto or kidney beans, huh? So we want to put two of these beans on the corners of the triangle, okay? Ready, count with me. One, two. How many beans are on the triangle? Show me. Two. How many beans are not on the triangle? Just one. We can tell how to make three like this. Two beans on the triangle, one bean off the triangle. That makes three. So if I put this one back on, now we have all three. Okay, let's do it another way. Let's touch and count these again. One, two, three. That was my counting path that I did. So now let's just put one bean on a corner. And this corner, a fancy way to say the name of a corner is a vertice or a vertex. Um, put one bean on the corner. Oh, we did that. How many beans are on the triangle? Just one. How many beans are not on the triangle? Two. So we can make three by saying, here, let me move closer, one bean on the triangle, two beans not on the triangle, one and two make three. You got it. All right, we're going to skip over these ones today and then we'll go right to our application problem. And oh no. To your little siblings, or maybe a nephew or a niece or a friend, do they ever make big messes? I know my son does. He's two and he loves to dump things out and make a big mess. So let's pretend that somebody little in our family dumped out some of these crayons. Oh, man. Someone threw four crayons on the floor. What color crayons do you see, Blurt? Red and blue, yes. Let's see, how many of our crayons are red? Blurt, two. How many of our crayons are blue? Blurt, two. How many do we have all together? Four, yes. So two red and two blue is four all together. That's a hidden partner of four. All right, now let's get ready to find some more hidden partners of three. Ooh, I see three little bears down here. I see a field, looks like some tall grass, and I see a pond with some evergreen trees and some deciduous trees. Ooh, cool. So there are three bears. One, two, three. Two bears are in the field, so let's put two in the field. And one bear is in the water. How many bears are there all together, Blurt? Three. How many bears in the field, Blurt? Two. How many bears in the pond, Blurt? 
one. You got it. So we have two bears in the field, one bear in the pond, three bears all together. Hidden partners, two and one make three. All right, let's do another one. I like those silly little bears. Okay, let's draw our number story now. So if you have a pen and paper, oh, I'm so sorry, I forgot to tell you that if you would like to um, follow along with me today or play along with me today, you can use a piece of paper and something to write with or something to write on. It doesn't have to be a piece of paper. It can be a whiteboard. Sorry about that. I forgot to tell you in the beginning of that. But if you don't have one of those things, totally fine. You can just watch what I'm doing. That is a-okay. So let's draw our number story below, and I get to get out my fancy pen for this. And sometimes my pen's a little tricky to write with, but I'm gonna do my best. Let's see, let's do green. Okay, so let's draw our number story together. And if you don't have something to write with, totally fine, just watch me. So let's draw three flowers. One. Two. Hmm, let's see, three, whoa. And actually, oops, oh no. <laughs> okay, so actually I'm gonna erase that one and I'm going to make another flower a different color here. Okay, so now I have three flowers. Now I'm gonna make sure I get my select button back, okay. So there are three total flowers. Two flowers are green and one flower is red. Hmm, I see these number cards down below. What do you think we should do with these number cards? I think maybe we should drag them and match them up with the quantities of the flowers. So there are two green flowers. So I'm gonna get this two and put it right here. And there's one red flower. So I'm gonna get this one and put it right here. Cool, so now I have two and one. Ooh, let's say a number sentence about how many flowers we have. A number sentence is just like a sentence we say when we are reading, but this time it's about numbers and math. So let's say two and one make three. Yes, two green flowers, one red flower makes three total flowers. So when we say the number two, that means we have two green. And when we say the number one, that means we have one red. And then when we say the number three right here, that means we have three flowers all together. Let's do one more like this. Okay, let's draw some more. Let's see, I'm gonna draw some rhombuses. I like rhombuses. Some people might call these a diamond, but they're actually a rhombus because a diamond is a 3D shape. So if I have five rhombuses, I'm going to draw four this purple color and one. Hmm, what color should I use? Oh, ho, ho. I'm gonna make one rainbow. That's a cool one, right? I like that button. So I have four rhombuses, or I have five rhombuses. Four are purple, and one is rainbow. That's a cool one. How many rhombuses do I have all together? Hmm. Well, let's match up our number of cards again. So we have four purple, and one rainbow. So four purple, one rainbow, five total rhombuses. Four and one make five. That is our number sentence. Good work. All right, let me show you guys your exit ticket for the day. All right, now I think you're gonna have no problem with this one and that you will really enjoy it. So let me get right here to module one, lesson 11. So these squares represent cubes. So pretend like we're using one of those like Univix cubes. Count the squares and then I want you to find out which 
number sentence represents both colors. So we have two gray, one white. Which sentence down below matches that? Then down here, same thing. Which sentence matches it? And there's four of those. So today we learned how to find hidden partners. We did two and the one make three, and we did one and two make three, and then we even did a bonus hidden partner to four. Good work today, guys. I can't wait to see how you do in that exit ticket. I know you're going to do a fabulous job, and we'll be back with lesson 12 tomorrow. Adios!